Rick. Yes, very exciting as we await the February jobs report. And here we go, non-farm payrolls, 311,000. 311,000. And if you look at manufacturing payrolls, they were down 4,000. Two-month uh, net revision is minus 34,000, minus 34,000. And if you consider the unemployment rate, it moved up to 3.6. 3.6 from 3.4, which happened to have been a 53-year low. If you look at average hourly earnings month to month, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0.2 percent. Now, if you look at average hourly earnings at 0.2, that is the smallest month over month change since February when it was unchanged. If we look at year over year, it is 4.6. 4.6. Now that indeed is better than a still unrevised 4.4, and 4.4 was the lowest um, year over year since July of 21. Average work week 34.5, 34.5, uh, and we are expecting 34.6, so that is a bit smaller than expected. And last month's 34.7 moved to 34.6. Labor force participation. 62.5, one-tenth better than expected and one-tenth better than the rearview mirror. And 62.5 is the best rate uh, since 62.6 in March of 2020. And if we look at the underemployment rate, or U6, it is 6.8. I do want to point out, at the end of last year, this series was at 6.5, which was the lowest since 1994 record keeping. If we look at what's going on, interest rates on tens are going down, interest rates on twos are below 470, and the stock market is gyrating a bit in the Dow futures, but it is moving up a bit, and we need to obviously consider all the flight to safety that has distorted uh, many of these metrics, especially on the Treasury side, and the very simple reason is you know, we had the biggest punch bowl in world history for many years. Then we had COVID hit, and we threw a bunch of money into the global economy, and specifically the U.S. economy. Banks were flush. They purchased a lot of securities, uh, much more in the securities camp than what they tried to loan out when they were flush with all these deposits. Well, with rates moving up and money markets so competitive, they're losing deposits. And all those securities they have, if they hold them to maturity, they don't have to show the losses uh, from an accounting perspective, although you can find it if you really look at their statements. The point here is, should they need to start liquidating because deposits keep moving away, they're going to end up liquidating securities that were held for sale or to be determined to be held to maturity. If they liquidate those, they have to show the losses, and that's something to pay very close attention to. Back to the panel.